Alrighty guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at where to locate your um, cut in and cut out feature and also something to keep in mind about when you actually want to use it. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make um, short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, back in the program here. Now, just a quick reminder, this is a mini-series on the cut-in and cut-out feature. And I will also leave relevant links in the description so you guys can follow along. Now, um, yeah, before we locate it, just something worth mentioning, which I forgot to mention in the intro. Should I say in the overview? And that is that um, if you're using a small laser cutter, the cut in and cut out is most probably not that necessary you can get away without it it's only when you're working with bigger machines that you might want to enable this but yeah otherwise then back in the, the video now to locate it there's three ways we can go about this or to open the feature and but something to keep in mind is that uh and this can be rather frustrating if you do not know it and that is you can only open it if you have something selected so if we look at the first way, if we go on our bar on top here, we can, if we're over there, we can see we've got cut in and property. Now if I click that, absolutely nothing happens. And that is because we actually need something selected that we want to set the cut in and cut out property. It makes sense, but um, yeah, it can be rather frustrating if you forget that. So if we select our circle, then if we click this, you will see it opens the um, cut in and cut out settings for us. Now another way we can do this is we go to our edit menu under the, our main menu, navigate down until we find cut uh, edit cut in property. Click that and it will open the same thing. Then the third way we can do this is if we go to our main menu again to view and then we make sure our cut in and out bar is enabled. So this is this bar here on the top left. Now. With your object selected, if you click this cut in and cut out, it will do the same thing. We'll open our um, cut in and out settings. Now, I personally like to use this top one here just as a well, rather quick and simple. But if you're going to be working with cutting out a lot, you can always leave this bar open then uh, for quick access. But I'm going to switch this off for now so it's not too busy or our user interface not too busy. So then once again, just a quick recap. So... If you want to open it, make sure you have an object selected that you want your cut in and out on. And then navigate either to the top menu here to this little icon or edit. Then we go to cut, um, edit cut property or view and enable your cut in and cut out. And then click on the cut in dash or forward slash out. Otherwise that uh, just what covers locating it. Um, if we had to head here to softwaretraining.co.za, you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover, and you can also isolate your search on the top right. If you do not, however, find the training videos you're looking for, just simply go here, request a training video, fill in the mini form, then we'll do our best to try and make that for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching, and cheers.